Rainmaker 0909 here. Little update on what's going on. What I want to do is show you first off the canister temperature, and then I'll uh, I'll back it off and we can look at the rest of it. All right, we all know that. And that was my arm. Like I said, it's it's the degrees. I'm going to turn it on. What you see dangling is the wire from my microphone headphone set, so don't panic. Okay, turn it on. I'm going to check the temperature. Eighty degrees. Skin temperature, 80 degrees. We'll get the amps. Twenty two point nine. Get the volts. 14.3, I managed to get a few more volts. Well, actually, I managed to get one volt. And I wanted to show you the difference in the way it produces. It was pretty amazing, just that one volt. But first, take a look at this, this bubbler right here. Check how hard it's working. It is really getting it. And so is the primary bubbler, as you can see. It's really doing its job. So let's uh, get us a efficiency. And then I'll show you what's going on here. Okay. We're going to do it the way I always do it. Three, two, one. All right, ready? It's all the way down, right? Three, two, one, mark. This thing has really started to uh, percolate. And I believe it's because of the that one extra volt. Here it comes. Twenty seconds. 20 seconds. A liter and a half a minute, stone cold. I'm going to come back in a, uh, probably an hour. While I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and set the clock. That way, there'll be no questions. And yes, I could set it before the next time too, but yeah, trust me on a couple of things. How's that look? Crooked? The best laid plans. Okay. I think you can see that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this clock because it's blocking the coolest bubbler I've ever had. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. Look at the output it's got now. I mean, it's just whirling around inside of there. You can see the froth. It's really not froth. It's just bubbles busting up on top. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on that a little bit. You can see they're just going crazy up there on the top, and that's good. And they're busting apart. So I'm not getting a lot of vapor coming out of it. Hundred and nineteen point two. That's pretty accurate. Shoot this again, like I said, it's going to be a little bit cooler because it is steel and it is conducting uh, heat out of it. One twenty-eight. Let's check our amps and our volts. 
There we go. Twenty-eight point two. That's what I have. Twenty-eight point two. Wrong volt. Thirteen point seven. So I basically have what the car should put out. And that should uh, be a pretty good deal. All right. We're going to do a liter per minute test. Should have had this pushed down already, but sometimes I just don't get it just perfect. Okay, it's full. Trying to get the line. Okay, you ready? Okay, three, three, two, one, mark. Now we'll see what's happening here. Seventeen seconds. That's almost two liters a minute. Out of this little bitty cell. I gotta go. Bye.